Hi, everybody. It is so great to be here. And I look around and I see lots of friends and acquaintances from different parts of the food system here in Washtenaw County. I'll say hi, and I look forward to talking to you afterward as well. Um, I am the executive director now of Community Education and Recreation. You may know it as Reconed and get our catalogs in your mailbox um, occasionally throughout the year. I'm also the chair of the school district's Farm to School Collaborative, so I'm here speaking in both contexts today. All right. All right. Um, all the photos are local school kids in Ann Arbor. So the question that I was asked to try to answer is how does Ann Arbor Public Schools, and I'm just going to refer to it as AAPS, support a, support a sustainable local food system? And I think we do that in a lot of ways that are somewhat invisible in the community. So um, I'm really happy to share a lot of it very quickly with you tonight. Um, we are an institutional purchaser of local food. We are growers of local food. We are composters. We contribute to the food safety net by donating a lot of food to food gatherers. And of course, we're educators of 16,000 students who are the future farmers market shoppers, um, future chefs, future food industry workers. So having that appreciation of local food is something that can travel in many ways through the kids that we educate every day. And these are just a few examples of um, some of the things I will be whipping through in this presentation tonight. Okay, so the Farm to School Collaborative serves as somewhat of a hub for the activity that happens in the school district. Um, this is probably the only meeting in our school district where people may come with dirt under their fingernails and nobody blinks an eye. Um, we have our purpose is to create those connections between what's happening in the school district and what's happening in the community. So you can see we have um, different members from different parts of uh, the school district, Reconed, our food service, or Chartwells, um, parents, teachers. We have um, a couple people in the room tonight who are involved um, as parents in the in this collaborative, and the Ann Arbor Farmers Market. Sarah is a great member, um, and. U of M, Washtenaw County Public Health, Project Grow, and Adver Agrarian Adventure. All right, so I want to talk about how we source local food into cafeterias. And I'm sorry this is such a grainy picture. Um, there are two ways that we do this. The Farm to School Collaborative back in 07, 08, started a program called Farm Fresh Fridays. And it was to connect with local growers and bring food um, that was donated for them from them into our cafeterias. Um, Chartwells would uh, kind of prepare it, make it make it ready for consumption, and it was distributed free in our cafeterias. And that program has continued and grown. So now we don't call it Farm Fresh Fridays anymore. We call it Farm Fresh Features. Um, and these are kids at Carpenter Elementary School who um, are very excited. You can see a lot of excited kids in my photos. Um, they were shucking corn that was donated from a local farm and that then ended up in the cafeteria that day. Uh, we also, the food service, which is Chartwell's, um, also spends about 10% of its budget every year on local food. And this is actually a slightly old number. It's from 2010-11, and I think it's gone up because they've started doing um, things like buying local berries and um, other types of fruit and freezing it in the summertime. All right, another wonderful program that started with the collaborative but now is completely run by Agrarian Adventure is the Farmer in the Classroom program. And um, is anybody from Agrarian Adventure in the audience tonight? I'm wondering, okay. Um, so the Farmer in the Classroom program is um, an opportunity for farmers, chefs, and local food artisans to come directly into the classroom and talk about what they do. So it's a really nice introduction to a, a world of um, occupations for our kids starting at a very young age. As you can tell, this is, um, well, 
you may not know this, but Bryant Elementary School is a K-1-2 school in our district. And so these are little kids learning directly from a farmer about what it is like to be a farmer. Um, and this program is very popular. We often have um, more demand from teachers than supply of farmers. Um, and I did want to plug as one access point, Agrarian Adventure is hosting um, a program called Get the Dirt on Farmer in the Classroom on April 17th, and I have that information if you want it later. All right, and of course, a very popular field trip every year for hundreds of elementary students is, <clears throat> is that trip to the farmer's market. Um, this happens to be one of my Reckon Ed summer camps. They walked down last summer and they uh, bought some produce and took it back to their camp and had it for their snack that afternoon. Um, and of course, I have to talk about our many school gardens. We have um, 12 gardens going right now. Um, it waxes and wanes a little bit because they are completely volunteer run and they um, so it can, it can shift around a little bit every year. They operate um, fairly independently, but um, the collaborative over the years has supported with um, writing grants for supplies, with workshops, just kind of training. And this year we've spent quite a bit of time uh, developing uh, recommendations for school garden safety. All right, so let's get back to some more excited kids. All right, have you ever seen a group more excited about shoveling compost? <laughs> I think not. These are kids up at King, um, which has a, a large garden there. Here are some students at Tappan Middle School who are very carefully planting seeds. And again at Tappan, um, preparing beds and, you know, this is just one of many examples of how this can connect to classroom curriculum. So they can uh, obviously do math and science. So everybody's favorite part is harvesting. And here's some kids at Burns Park Elementary School harvesting their radishes very proudly. Um, and um, this is harvesting. There's somebody in the audience in this picture. Um, <laughs> uh, more harvesting from Burns Park. And I just think it's really cool to have corn at your school that you've grown. And um, over the past several years, a few elementaries have done three sisters gardens um, with corn, beans, and squash. And of course, that opens up lots of great educational opportunities in history and culture and horticulture. Um, and you know, obviously kids love to have a little snack and um, tasting at King Elementary School is always fun. Um, and I don't have a picture for it, but some schools have really embraced composting in a big way and Project Grow has been a wonderful resource for us um, in doing that. All right, now I get to plug my f one of my favorite things about Reckon Ed and that is our Green Adventures Camp. And the Green Adventures Camp started a few years ago. It's an academic um, enrichment camp for elementary and middle school students that's focused on teaching conservation and ecology. It's very child-centered and um, exploratory in nature. And about 500 kids participate in this program every summer. And some sign up for the whole summer, and they're with us all summer. Um, about four years ago, our staff made a connection with Rainer Farm, and um, the berry farm had been sort of defunct for a while, and um, got into an agreement, and our campers and other community volunteers have revived the farm, and now um, it is a fully functioning farm. And guess what? We have six beehives, um, and you'll notice in this picture that we have some little beehives and we have or bee suits and we have some big bee suits and we got a grant to buy um, little bee suits and so kids can really safely up close learn about bees and pollination and all of the different issues around um, honey production and you know all the the hive collapse and all that um, great stuff so um, that is a highlight and um, just a I think it's unique that we have that. 
All right, this is another photo of the, um, the farm itself, and kids um, love coming out. And of course, we provide shade, but um, there's <laughs> they're not just like working out there, um, but um, <laughs> they have, it's an it's a opportunity in the summertime to really see an organic farm and really um, get a little bit more deeply rooted, sorry for the pun, but um, understanding those organic methods, crop rotation, how to um, talk about insects without it, um, without using herbicides. So it's a wonderful opportunity for children in our community. And, um, okay, getting the signal. All right, so in summary, um, I think, you know, what happens in the schools is often invisible unless you have a student at the school or you happen to have some other connection. But um, I hope what you you can take from tonight is that um, in lots of ways, the school districts support our local, our local food economy um, by buying food, producing food, composting food waste, and developing this next generation of kids who appreciate local food and want to be involved in it. Thank you.